Clouds have returned across the Susquehanna Valley and they're going to stay with us through the rest of our Martin Luther King Day. There could be a few sprinkles as early this evening, but the majority of the rain is going to hold off until late overnight tonight. Taking a live look right now over York, it's 33 degrees. Feels like it's 33 as winds are relatively calm. Dew points are sitting in the upper 20s. Now that the clouds are back, temperatures are just going to hover in the upper 30s to possibly near 40. And there may be some light sprinkles trying to move in ahead of the bulk of the rain that's still off to our west. So you may have to turn the windshield wipers on a couple of swipes as you head out there later this afternoon through the evening hours. But the bulk of the showers still well off to our west. This has been a very powerful storm system affecting the midsection of the country for the weekend and now into Monday. Heavy snow, as you heard Susan talk about early in the newscast, Kansas back into Colorado and even some tornadoes were reported in Texas. The storm center is going to work its way up towards the Great Lakes and we're going to be on the warm side of this, so I expect mostly rain for the Susquehanna Valley. So for today, mostly cloudy skies could see a few isolated showers late as we get closer to I'd say about 10 o'clock. Scattered showers will start to move in overnight. Now, if you live closer towards Sealands Grove or up towards State College, Lewistown, there is a chance for some scattered light freezing rain late tonight. First thing in the morning, temperatures will continue to warm as we head through the day tomorrow, but the clouds will stay with us on and off. Light rain and drizzle is likely tomorrow's highs will be in the low to mid 40s. So we do have that freezing rain advisory heading up toward Berks County, Schuylkill County and up towards Sealands Grove and State College and also heading up towards the New York State line. But notice for the majority of the Susquehanna Valley, we are not part of that advisory as I do expect temperatures to stay at or above freezing through the overnight hours. So rain chances will slowly increase as we head through the morning tomorrow. It will be highest around lunchtime and I think so as we head towards the evening drive time as well. Here's where we are right now in terms of temperatures. It's 36 in Lancaster, also the same in Lebanon and 34 currently in Carlisle. Look where the warmer air is right now. 63 currently in Memphis, 41 in Oklahoma City, 55 in Dallas. But there's the cold air on the back side of the system. So it's that warmer air that's going to be pushing in as the storm continues to trek and head up towards the Great Lakes region. And we're going to get a taste of that, a little piece of that as we head into tomorrow. So watch what happens here on the predictor. There's that thick cloud cover that's out there through much of the evening and on into tonight. Night. There's the chance of a few isolated showers and you see if you head north of the Susquehanna Valley could see some light freezing rain or drizzle through early tomorrow morning. But for the Susquehanna Valley for us, it's just on and off light rain showers. The showers will continue through third or Tuesday evening on into early Wednesday morning. A cold front moves on through, but this cold front looks rather weak. And I do expect that temperatures actually rise as we head through the day on Wednesday. We may actually see some breaks in the clouds as well. So cool today. Highs upper 30. Some spots will make it to near 40 degrees. Be prepared for on and off rain and drizzle through much of tomorrow. A few showers will be out there for Wednesday. And notice those temperatures staying mild. Highs in the upper 40s starting on Thursday and lasting on into the weekend. It does look like early next week. That's when we finally get another shot of colder air. Mm, all right. Well, in this cold weather, you're probably cranking up the heat. And here are some tips to heat your home more efficiently.